Here's me and James, uh, gonna go canoeing. Eventually he'll back up. We're loading the, loading the boat into the boat launch. About what we're doing. Which way is the back? This is the back? That's the front. So I'll be sitting here? Yeah. Okay. You better turn off the camera. Yeah, we're gonna let them all hear our, our conversation. This is our conversation. It's over. It's really shallow. It's really shallow. Yeah, why are we wearing like this? Just in case it be an archer, though. Hey, is that a little river over there? I don't know. Should you go check it out? I was gonna kinda see what was on the other side of this bend. James, say something. Uh, canoe trip in October 1st. Good way to start out October 1st. Five dollar chucks and uh, canoe trip. It's pretty sweet. Yep. It's pretty sweet. I didn't get no uh, five dollar chucks, but... <laughs> I'm on a canoe. What ca Here's a bridge that we're about to go under. James, turn us that way. Ah, here's the bridge. We're going to Narnia. What? Are you talking about me and my Narnia talk? Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember the at the beach when those kids were talking about? Oh my oh, gosh. I definitely don't remember that. Um. <laughs> don't hit your head. And no kidding. Dude, it's pretty shallow. Look at that meter right there. Yeah, look how shallow you see. You're probably wondering why I'm wearing a life vest in this oh, shallow of water. Life vest. <laughs> it's because there's actually deep parts of this water. Not right here, but. Where do you want to go? Towards that rickety old bridge thing over there? Yeah. Let's go check it out. I think it's abandoned, really. Unless there's something around that way. Once again, we got a little closer. We're still trying to figure out why this is here. It's random. But this is just chunks of it. Chunks. And here we're in the shallow water again. Such a beautiful scenery out here also, people. Tree shaker. Tree shaker. And well, we're heading towards the canal right now. Oh, there's a giant dead fish. <laughs> I was like, that was a small mouth bass just sitting there dead on the bottom of the floor. <laughs> I think somebody took a chunk out of it. They probably caught it and got its fillets yeah, out. Got hit by a prop. Could be that too, but I bet you it was more of a. Huh? Did it still have its fillets on it? 
Yeah, it was this whole fish. It just had a chunk out of it. Oh, okay. It's starting to be a hit. Dude, stop. Dude, I didn't do anything. YouTube did enough of that with my video. Something underneath Did you see my last video before I hit it? No. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I used that editing thing to put them all together. And it decided to make it look like it was shaking all over. What video was it? The one of us last week. Doing what? That whole adventure through the trails. Oh, really? Yeah. I have to show you right. Yeah. Yeah, I just narrated about our video last week. Oh yeah, here we go. We're in some shallow water, lily pads. This is nature. Nature at its best. Oh, whoa, dude. What are we doing? Dude, vlog. I see it. Well, uh, it's... Yeah, but you're like scraping right under it. What the crap, dude? James decided to put us through that. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Let's go straight. Well, you're gonna have to help me row because obviously you can see this. How's it going, James? It's going pretty good. I'm enjoying this open air. It's what? actually a really nice. Dude, is that a plane? <laughs> Where? Dude's got a boat plane right there. No way. Man, that's awesome. It's a boat plane if you guys can't tell. Everybody else has got a boat. This dude's like, nah, I got a plane. It's pretty sweet. He can fly with it. So James, tell us about our adventure so far. Well, we got to go all the way across this massive lake just to figure out that it dead ended, so that was kind of a letdown. And now, I'm getting really warm, so I'm going to take off my shirt. Boy. It is pretty warm out, but... It's still an adventure even though we came to a dead end so far. We got many more openings to go. Woo! We found this mysterious black orb and floating in the water. I'm not quite sure what it is, so I'm going to slam it against the boat and see if it breaks open because it's it's pretty light. It feels like it's hollow. So here we go. Just hit it with your foot. Did nothing. A resilient little bugger. There it is. Oh, what the heck is in there? Can you see what's in there? Yeah, it was a shell. What does it look like? There's anything in it though? No, there. It's hollow. Really? But it was a shell. Something it's a shell. Probably, whatever it was, probably just died in there. And here we are, in the middle of a river, with some, uh, swans. What if they, like, like swam up to each other and formed that heart that you always see? The swans, when they feel threatened, they will attack. So the best thing to do is threaten them. By throwing stuff at them. Or have a bulldozer. <laughs> um, I can't tell- What is that one got attached to it? Which one? That big black thing hanging off the back of it. Is that its clip? I think so. <laughs> That's awesome. Can we s I didn't realize they pulled them up that high. I thought they used them. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, he's pushing. That's awesome. <laughs> They're pushing. They're just like walking across the swamp. Um, just so you people know, we're looking for a duck that went underwater. So he might be somewhere around here. Strangest thing ever. I'm not either. This is about where it'd be. Yeah. But, oh. 